away and is pulled from the game after nine shots. And to come back in as Braden Taylor sends it in, but he didn't get to the red line, and an icing is called. Oh, and now we got a fight right at center ice. It's Hughes dropping the miss with Munger and a slam to the ice. Munger to Hughes, and they continue to throw punches afterwards, too. Right to him by Shank. Now Curry for Atlanta enters the zone. Gafari throws a hit on him. Well, tie up. Spencer Barrow ran wow. into the goalie and I was kind of afraid of this. Moses and Pearson over here. Thorman takes the shot blocked again on the way through. Can't find its way on net. Finally gets its way under the pants of Canapic. And here comes the show. Everybody getting after it. Canapic smartly skating on out of the net. Officiating crew trying to break it off with 56 seconds to go. 19 seconds left in the power play for the Charlotte Rush. Pearson has it. Looking for a shot. Goes up. Off of McCrake. Another shot. McCrake has it. Got some more rust off the front. Yeah, and as you expect with these two. Rivalry uh, definitely igniting. No uh, willing participants, though. We got a lot of love slapping, but yeah, it looks like they just want to trade some fists and really want to fight. At least not one side here. Good defense by Panuski. Got people blowing. We got a little scrum going on here. And we got a little tangle going on. Far too many times this year, the Whalers elite team has kind of come unglued because of penalties. And here you go again. They're doing the same thing. Hurting it themselves. They played a good game up until this point. The power play goal ties it. And they go and do something stupid. They're about to lose another defenseman. Game's in hand for the Aviators. As this puck almost takes out two officials and gets one of them as it hit along the boards here by Roberto Bernardo. We saw his physicality on Friday night. And that will do it for the final whistle. Jake Zamboni and Matthew Gibbons. And now looks like Bergman steps in and we got pushing and shoving going on everywhere. You have Bernardo right here, throws down his stick. He and it looks like Michael McGown, they collide. We got bodies everywhere. And in 7-1 games, two rivals against one another, you can expect things like this. And you still have Bernardo and McGown throwing each other down. And the premier team on the right of me are loving every bit of it. Now Alec Young looks like he and a couple of rockets are going at it. So we have just mayhem here after the whistle. As the game ended quite a bit ago, but nevertheless, it looks like the officials have officially broken everything up. Here comes the generals. Oh, they got a room. Wilder's in. Looks in front. It's loose. Back door. 
Oh, nothing. Lane's going to seal the post, and here we go. It's about to All right, boys. fly off the yep, handles. Definitely flying off the handles. Three seconds remaining in this game. Oh, Zetas with a chop. Got all kinds got of up. guys involved here. Dracula's jumping Boston Bergen. Bergen trying not to do anything. Now he's going to have to respond. Yeah, he's going to have to at least protect himself. Got Fawaz into it. The oh, lineman here is really worried about Kim when we've got some stuff going on over here. Just gonna let this go, I guess. Let it play out. Sticking up for his guys here. Five on five hockey, two nothing. Oh, we got a breakaway here. Shermer by himself, one on one. Shot saved by Crawford. And a hit definitely after the whistle had blown. We're going to have a little scrum here. All right, we, we got a little scrum here going, and refs on ice. Seconds of five on four hockey. Some extracurricular activities. Step away while this devolves itself. Big pocket, it's cleared out, Marnie, and goes back, but Flanagan has to tie it up. And, uh, and uh, that was Francis Henderson, number 16, being talked to, and he deserves it after spraying Flanagan. Spraying means they stop short and they scoop the ice up with their skates and spray the goaltender with it. And he's being talked to, and he's lucky he escaped the penalty there. So... Great penalty killing here, and now we got a problem here. Now we got a problem as Zach Windham and Brett Eggleston have a disagreement. Looks to play this puck in deep and does as it comes through for Tommy Styles. Tommy Styles trying to chip this one in from a tight angle, but Goble makes the save, and now Styles going at it with Pankowski, and then a couple other aviators come in too, and there are some pushing and shoving like crazy going down along the boards. As when teams play two games in a row, you can expect things to get chippy, especially a mid-Atlantic division battle like we are seeing, and players still going at it. Pankowski and Styles were the first two to go at it, and then multiple other players jumped in there as well. the backhand and wasn't able to get it past Maddox. DeLong knocked down from behind or he knocked Semi down from behind and now we have a fracas going Jurjavis going after Marsh. So DeLong gets the initial penalty now Driscoll chirping to the corner. One timer, slapper score from Pfeiffer! Oh! Oh, we're gonna have a fight after the fact, too! Bodies flying, and they're tugging, they're wrestling, and he's got a good hold of it. 
Denman trying to really get a hold, but it's a great win there from Romer. And uh, that is Flores not able to clear. Now he finally does. Potomac player coming in, one man to beat. And unable to, we're going to get a penalty here. Here we go. Isaac McGregor. Zarand Varga, I think, was taken down. And now we get a big scrum. Along the right wing boards in rush territory. Back again, though. Dogged determination by number nine, Fishman, for the Nashville Sparks. Takes a huge hit, but maintains possession of the puck. Takes another big hit. They are battling hard. As a matter of fact, there are gloves down on the ice, and there are punches being thrown. 11.55 to go in the third period. We had an incredibly physical battle. Which side? A couple players there yeah. colliding at center ice there, George. Yeah, that's uh, Rich side. Oh, my goodness. They're falling over each other there. McCarthy now. McCarthy getting in. Going after Warrington. Warrington. He drops gloves there. Everglades went it back to the point. And Cooch is all over it. He gets away. Puck in the corner now. Whistle fight. Down low, Marku, throwing hands, time to meet your maker. Rodasto shovel that one over to Rose. Rose lets that one go, a nice save from Crawford. And another one of those pucks, it's third or fourth time where, where Crawford has made a save up and out front. Here we go, having some on some extracurricular. It's Rodasta at 56, Lincoln Stone. Rolling onto the second Denman. Now Myers trying to get this one free. O'Brien has Baker knock him off the puck. Rolls past Denman. And now on the defensive end, Northern playing reset once more. Up ahead is Joshua Page. Trying to get it in there. This one shot off. To net in front. Now Denman quickly going to jump. Pushing, shoving. It taints down Sean Lagunsa at center ice. And now after all of it, Braden wilson Shorter get in there trying to defend him. Denman absolutely furious. He's got Joshua Page underneath him. Back, this is Zhang. Zhang looking for a short side shot. Jacobs able to corral the rebound and cover it up. Now the boys are getting into it. Hey, how are you doing? Looks like we're going to have uh, an early ejection here on the Generals. Brayden Taylor. Taylor now trying to set up a play for these Whalers. And we got a hard hit and a fight between Hennage and, oh, we got multiple. We got, yeah, we got fists being thrown. We got fists being thrown. Lots of hard hits here. Looks like we got two, 1v1. Looks like it started with Hennage and somebody else. Our Knights come away with it. A big shot save Riggins, rebound save Riggins. They're poking at him late. And then he gets shoved in the back by Quinn. Quinn gets shoved in the back by a Knights player. It's a fight now. We saw this last night. One guy went from each team. And to be quite frank, I mean, you know, when you slash the goalie late and there's no call, they're throwing punches still. There's a fight. The officials are letting this go on. This is not how it's supposed to happen. This is not the NHL. Quinn seems to have won because he kept his helmet on. The other guy didn't. Trying to get another puck in the net.
Looks like a grabbing. Looks like just been grabbing there. A few players getting involved now. This one's broken up, but it was getting a little chipper there. Oh, picks players. His helmet off. This one's getting brutal quick. And look, he hits towards somebody else. And now the ref's definitely getting involved. There may be a major here somewhere or a moderate minimum. A fight in the fight corner. In the corner. Miller, Miller and two minute mark. Ward up for Kaiser. Kaiser taps it along. Big hit at center. And that's going to be a retaliation hit. Now they're tied up at the blue line. Frustration coming here. And that's that's a team when your captain gets hit and you see him down on the ice, you'll start to respond. You'll start to try to back your guy up. The captain see down on the ice. Kaiser, I think, skating around each of his guys, telling them, let's get to the bench now. Ward, who is so important for his eel side, getting away from the bench to get off the ice. It'll be a couple guys, Lucas, who will be done for the game after this. And finally, Rocco Giamargo sent the back back out, dumped right back in. And Spencer Barrow just got mugged in front of us by the eight of Levi Sandholzer. He was absolutely mugged. There's no other way to put it. Oh, there's a few other ways I can put it, but not on the broadcast. Wow. Over the line, Sen got in the way of his pass. Munger down to the ice. Varga tried to lower a big hit on him, and now we have a fracas breaking out. Munger tied up with Jurjavis. The two of them down to the ice. Linesman over to try to separate them. that goal and two seconds will make it here and that's where we'll end that period as we're going to have some extracurricular up and for the end here. Ben Pearson going after Max Sullivan behind the play. And Pearson not wanting to let up. Nope. Extracurricular. Valentine's card list getting longer. Now back with the man advantage. Gloved at the blue line by Draculis, sent on net, and patted away into the corner, off the paddle. Yuri tries to go short side, knocked away, fired off the wall. Draculis rushes there, gets his, oh goodness, we've got ourselves a mix-up in front of the net, and we've got things going. Ian, they were just swatting a fly, right? Alone settles it and sends it up. McLaughlin chips it in on net. That puck bounces away. An opportunity for the Generals. Alex Johnson comes in, and he is going to draw himself a party on the net. We have a stoppage behind the play. Referees having to get in there as things are going everywhere. Kangas comes in to check. Again by the Generals. Chipped and chased out. Alex Johnson gets it out over the line. Play whistled dead. And more extracurriculars as punches are thrown and the referees try to break this one up. Another 
some shoving going on over by the Cyclones bench. And now some fist throwing. Duncan getting into it. Didn't see who it was for the picks. There's some frustration shown here. Off of his blade, Craven up with it. He takes a shot. Stopped by Morris. And then Varga tried to knock the rebound in out of the air. Oh, and we have a big fracas going on in the corner now. Bumbarger drops his gloves. Can't tell who he's going in after. Benches, the Whaler bench is not happy about that. And we got a fight. We got a fight. We got Shirk. Shirk and McCusker going down. Helmets were off. Gloves were down. Varga has it. A backhand pass off of Smith Noble with the puck. That is how this one ends. Fire the muskets. It's two points for the Patriots. At the end of the game, well, this is not what you want to see. Denman involved. Robinson over on the other end is involved with Craven. The officials have a lot on their hands here. This is not what you want to see at the end of a game. And now we have Rice going after Noble. Noble trying to get away from him. Rice drops the glove, is firing away at Noble. Noble takes him down to the ice. Rice continues to fire away. Over by the bench, some more chirping going on. The officials just need to get everyone off the ice. Denman now over with some chirping. Good move there by Bridges. He takes a shot. Ribstein having a day, and we got the gloves have dropped, and we here we go a fight. It's Bridget and Jacob Scott, and this is like a this is like a street fight. They're not even. Oh my goodness! Bridget is going after it. Bridget gets the knockdown there at center ice. It wasn't even any grabbing to it. It was just a straight right hand and just dropped Jacob Scott. We'll go one-on-one. -on -one. We've got bodies coming together behind the play in the neutral zone. And we've got gloves down. We've got Van Gert for the Spartans. Gloves off and Sullivan. A number of rights and left being thrown right there. 14.48 to go in the third period. Sad. His pass up the field gets intercepted, though. Potomac's still with it now. And we got a little tough tussle down here in the near corner. Multiple players pushing and shoving, going at it. Multiple players. We got some haymakers, some helmets coming off here. Refs getting in there to break that up. Only 15 seconds left remaining here, too, in the game. We still have two players going at it. Looks like Hudson Hennich. Opportunity steering him in the face. Could not control it. Final 30 seconds left as we have an upcoming penalty against PAL, and now we got a fight going on between Devin Ward and Victor Dierico as the gloves have come off. Punches are being thrown, and they both go down on the ice. Now helmets are off as well as the gloves, and now a takedown as it's Ward and Dierico continuing to battle as we are zoomed in for you. Some heavy right hands being thrown back and forth between the two. And with the final 26.6 seconds. We are terrific action, quick pace 
We have really picked it up here in the second stanza. Palm Beach in front with a good shot there. And now the puck may have rolled in. We're trying to see. No, now we have a little extracurricular activities going on. And again, we only have two referees to break it up. Only one linesman is trying to break up a big fight. Wow. 71 is Giamarco. He's in the battle. And it's been a battle with Appleyard. Wow. Again, they only had one linesman to separate the fighters. And now the referee is trying to join in as Appleyard is on top. Brett Luthner, we're back at it. This yeah. one turned over. It's a two on none. Take it into the fire. Judd score! Mark Antoine Vincent! Watch the weather here in Utica. There's a storm surge coming. Carolina, your elite national champions.